How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Charlize Theron, the very popular actress who was in a lot of great movies. My favorite was Hancock with her and Will Smith. That was a very underrated movie. Really enjoyed it, but I digress. We're talking about her today because she is allowing her seven-year-old adopted son to live as a girl. Now, she made this decision because when he was three years old, he looked at her and said, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl. So because of a three-year-old just having an outburst and saying I'm a girl, she has been dressing him as a girl, treating him as a girl, letting him be pretty much gender fluid, whatever he wants. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was three years old, I could have been anything. I thought I was a Ninja Turtle. I thought I was a Ghostbuster. I thought I was a frog, a turtle. I thought I was pretty much everything. You're three years old. I mean, you don't really know what you are, really. You don't even understand what a human being is at three years old. You have no real clue. Her son could just be saying anything. So to raise him as a girl is doing him a big disservice you got to be the parent and say you know what you're not a girl you're a boy now whether he grows up later to be gay or whatever that's fine but at three years old i think that he doesn't really know what he wants to be he has no real concept of sex of gender of anything like that which is why when i was three i thought i was michelangelo and his a turtle that's that's what that was me i had the the mask with the nose the nunchucks, that's what I was doing. Well, you know, barefoot, that was me because I'm a little boy. That's what little boys do. I mean, once you get to be an adult and you say, oh, well, now I'm a girl. Okay, if you want to identify as a, a girl, then so be it. That's your particular business. Now, I don't think you should be able to uh, legally change your gender like you change your name. I think that you should still be listed as a male if you were born a male and be treated as such in a legal sense. Like if you go commit a crime and you do so while identifying as a female, but you're a male, you still need to go to jail as a male. Okay. Because you can't be in a prison system with other women. Even if you had a surgery to remove your genitalia, it's irrelevant because you still have the male skeletal structure, the male strength, even if you have hormone therapy, it doesn't change your body structure. You know, it may weaken you like reducing your testosterone, but it won't change your skeletal structure. That is still going to remain male. It won't really change your brain. It'll change your, your thought process to a certain extent because your hormones are going to affect your thoughts. But at the same time, you're going to have some of that same aggressiveness that you had as a male because you were born as. So, like I said, if you want to be an adult, you can identify as whatever you want. You can identify as a laptop computer. You can identify as um, <laughs> a, a Boeing 737 Max 8. If you want to do that, you can identify as the planet Saturn, uh, the rings of Saturn, whatever you want to be. That's fine. I don't care. But a child has to be told by the parent, this is what you're going to do. There are plenty of things that kids want to do that parents don't allow. Parents not going to allow you just to do whatever you want and run amok, or at least they shouldn't. You know, nowadays, a lot of parents are doing that. They're letting the kids do whatever they want with no kind of repercussions, no kind of consequences, no penalty. That is not the appropriate way to raise kids. So, Charlize Theron, you have... Uh, two adopted children now i think they're both from africa and that's great that you're adopting kids giving kids that need a place to be safe harbor but what i don't like is when these people adopt kids and then they mistreat them all right it's one thing to be a, a good parent bringing kids and that's your own and raise them properly but if you're bringing in kids and abusing them you might as well just left them where they were leave them in the orphanage it would have had a better treatment at least Back in Africa, they're not going to be treated as a different gender. How is that child going to grow up? And then don't let it be a thing like what happened to other person, uh, Jazz Jennings. This person has a TV show. And I think for the 18th birthday, they got gender reassignment surgery, which means all throughout their childhood, they were taking hormone therapy, all kind of stuff to go from 
in their mind or in their parents mind or both to go from being a boy to being a girl what's going to happen when this person gets to be like 30 45 years old like what then a lot of people that become transgender regret it and i think that if somebody is three years old the parents shouldn't be allowed to just treat them however it, 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 and I, I definitely hope that there's no hormone therapy going on, no puberty blockers, because that right there, that's child abuse. Charlize Theron and whoever is around her needs to get locked up. And then I saw the same person, Charlize, talking about, oh, I've been single for a long time, like 10 years or something like that. I can't find anybody. Somebody should step up. Well, I tell you what, if I was an eligible bachelor, which I'm not, but if I was and I was in her circle, I would not want to get with somebody like that. You already got somebody that's 40 something years old, raising a boy as a girl. No, no, thank you. Something ain't right. You got a few trees short of a forest, a few forks short of an entire silverware set, a few fuses short of a full light bulb. All right, I'm, I'm good. So this person needs to actually have CPS come in there and investigate what's happening to see if it's any kind of more abuse happening because right here, that's mental abuse. Take the dress off, boy, and put on some pants, go outside, roll around the ground. You know, that's not a matter of being gay, straight, or whatever. Boys are gonna be boys, it is what it is. So that's pretty much all I got. What say you? Do you think it's the right thing to do for us, at least our own, to raise her adopted son as a daughter? The boy is seven years old. She said that she's been allowing him to be a girl ever since the age of three. Now, my thing is this. All right, you got this man, this boy, pardon me. You got this boy wearing dresses and, you know, girl shoes. Is he buying the dresses for himself? Is he buying the shoes for himself? It's you buying it. You have the power to control. And the thing about it, I thought that in this new age, where there's no such thing as gender and your gender fluid that women could wear whatever they wanted. There is no, there's no such thing as women's clothing. So if women's clothing is not really a thing and gender is not really a thing, then why are you putting this boy in dresses? Why are you putting this boy in overly overt girlish clothing? Why not just put him in regular, I'm talking about what I got on, maybe even less than that, uh, a plain, t-shirt like this here and a, a pair of pants something that uh, you know unisex type you know what i'm saying why put them in something that's so like high fashion for little kids but for little girls you know i think that it's more about what charlie's wants rather than what the boy wants because if the boy was to say you know what i'm michelangelo from the turtles i mean is he gonna be walking around with the whole mask on and the turtle shell and the nunchucks I, I doubt it, but that's pretty much all I got. And whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.